Let's look for fuel injector, the page for the fuel injectors. Fuel injector control. This will tell me all the, all of uh, what, it's gonna be the blue. There's two connectors in the, the 0411 PCM, the blue connector and the red connector. If you had a LT1 PCM, you have four of them. So let's take a picture of this. Let's start with number one. Oop, sorry, kicked you. Put it on speaker, just checking for continuity. So, blue 36, 34, 30, okay, 36, it's this black one. Right here. And which pin is it? Well, it's going to be the colored, the red pin. And this one. Okay, that holds true on this one. Hey, that was a black wire. I wonder if it's going to match these colors. Um, put it back. This one's good. Number three, number three is number is blue four and the pink black wire is what I need here. All right, so blue four is a pink black wire. Hey, they match, that's cool. Continuity. All right, that matches for number three. Number five, looks like it's gonna be just totally pink. Number five. It's blue 76 and it's a black white. Okay, so it's the black white wire here. All right. And blue 76. which is down below. That is a black white. So it's two and two. One, two, open, one, two. This one here. And I don't have continuity. Let me see if I got the right where probably don't. Oh, probably in the wrong. Okay. That's 76. One, two, one, two. Okay. Be on this side. Here. So here. Continuity. I had the wrong pen. At first, Okay, I'm good.
Okay, well, I'm going to... I haven't made any changes except for general big cam tuning changes, and I changed the firing order to what all the other torque head and EFI connection systems go with, with an LT1 engine. And I changed the fire order to a small block Chevy, 18346572. This was set at an LS firing order by HP tuners. Um, I'm always learning. I never run into that, but what I do believe that what that does, if you have it in LS firing order, it will fire the coils at different, uh, you know, off from the injectors or they will all go into LS firing order. And therefore, that's why O2s were a kind of wacko. Rich on this side, lean on this side. I'm hoping. I verified all the wiring was proper to every coil and every injector has the, um, the wiring right where it should be. So we'll see if it runs better. they'll start switching really well it, it's uh, interesting it's something I've never encountered so I wonder how, if this has any effect at all or no effect that's still a little rich Coolant temp is still low, right? 86 degrees. 86 degrees coolant temp, so it's going to be a while. But it's it's going to be closed loop. Well, it must have a real hot thermostat in it. It goes to 196 and holds at 196. Yeah, it's good to run these things warm to help not foul the plugs. Look, we're at 198 right now, and we're just sitting here doing nothing. Both fans are running. I vented it. I think I fixed in the tune the throttle follower. It used to hang a lot higher. I also found in the tune it was set to automatic transmission. So I'm fixing everything slowly. Slowly, slowly. did a smoke test and everything's fine and uh, it's idling pretty good now just a little correction 
it uh, smells a bit rich, but it's, you know, it doesn't look rich out the pipes. I got the O2 sensor switching beautifully. Check that out. So, anyway, it's making a big improvement. Almost there. Thank you.